So on this video, I meet up with my buddy Mowgli, and uh, Mowgli just recently turned pro for Braille Skateboards. They started their own board company, and they turned him and Ricky and Chris pro. And there was like drama about it. Like people were like, oh, do they deserve to be pro? Are they good enough to be pro? Where are their video parts? And I honestly, my favorite part about that entire debate is that like Mowgli just like couldn't care less. Because as, as far as I know, uh, in my time knowing Mowgli, he just doesn't seem to really care about any of that kind of stuff like he just likes skateboarding and like when you watch the braille videos which i know a lot of my viewers don't watch braille at all uh and that's fine um but like if you ever go watch one of the videos like he's just like yeah i'm here to skate like he like a lot of people are kind of in the camera and like you know trying to be like engaging and he's just like yeah i'm gonna backflip this handrail i guess i don't know like it almost looks like he's just like a really good skater who stumbled onto the uh braille house floor and they were just like hey do you want to play the floors lava and he's like yeah that sounds super fun i love games and then just like does it uh super sweetheart uh one of the first things he said to me when i saw him was like making fun of himself for being pro like he i don't think it was like ever like his like huge goal like i'm gonna be a professional skateboarder uh, i think it was more so like oh like people want to buy a board with my name on it because x y or z super rad and i think it's incredible that someone who was like a genuine skate rat who didn't set their life aside to try to pursue this goal of like make it in skateboarding, uh, which is like, you know, for the most part, a pretty like low paying passion project has f like kind of luckily, cause he told me he like kind of stumbled into the braille job. He didn't even, well, I'm not going to tell a story. Uh, that's for him to tell, but his whole story about like getting, you know, into the whole braille thing is like hilarious. Uh, it's really rad to see that like skateboarding is working out for him where he's like, He's getting a pro model board and people want to buy it because they, A, like him, his personality, and B, like he is actually really good at skating. You can say what you want about what the standard for a professional skater is. There are some pro skaters out there who I who are established pro skaters who everyone will be like, yeah, that guy's a pro skater, who I legitimately think Mowgli is as good as or maybe even better than. I just think most people have no idea how good Mowgli is unless they've skated with him in person. Because you see him on Braille and they're like, you know, you got to do this obstacle course thingy mabobber. And he's just like, oh yeah, for sure. But like, it's not really showing how good he actually is. And when he films like, sh you know, street footage, it's literally just like him going out with his friends, filming a YouTube video. And then he happens to get like a couple clips. I would love for him to like really sit down and focus on a street part, like really go all out at the level of skating that he's at right now. Cause it's like, yeah, he got like early grab front board at Rincon 4, which is insane. Uh, but that's one of the main notable tricks that he did, and I know he's capable of so much more, especially with just skating with him in person this day. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully, you have a newfound appreciation after you see this video and see how good Mowgli actually is, even though he's not, by any means, like, going all out trying to kill it. But I, like, caught some cool clips of him, uh, some tricks I didn't know he could do. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, enjoy the video, and, yeah. All right, I'm curious to get your uh, impressions of the skate park because I, I would describe this park as the biggest catfish of a skate park ever. Like, everyone comes here and they see, like, the yellow and they assume that it's going to be, like, El Sereno good. And it is a fun park, but just cruise around and give me your honest opinion on what you actually think about the park. Because it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not the best. Yeah, we're really starting this video out with bangers. So his friend made a full-length Skate 3 video and the intro of it is in the real world. It's, like, him, like, putting the game in the system. It'd be really funny if he took a run-up to it and didn't actually put it in. If they play the entire intro, I'm going to be so disappointed. Dude, this is terrible. <laughs> Why did he but what? How did, oh, he actually out. has to punch his Xbox if he wants it to work. This video has nine views and it's two years old. So if you want, I'm gonna link this in the bio. Probably not gonna remember to do that, but you should go give it hella views and comments. I bet it starts working. It does. <laughs> I've been at his house when it, we were trying to play Xbox and he's beating his Xbox up like this and it works. And so I just watched Mowgli go through the biggest struggle in skateboarding. That's ungripping a board and then putting another sheet of grip tape on. Uh, Jumpy with Louis Vuitton. Cause he's Louis Vuitton sponsor. What do you mean? Are you live right now? Yeah, I got a whopping two viewers. Now you have three cause I'm, I'm, I'm watching you skate. Um, That's a good start. He'll probably do this one. Do we care though? Pro oh no, I don't know. Ah! Oh. This does everything for you. They're educating me on TikTok. They're saying just repost my YouTube stuff onto TikTok and just add that annoying ass fucking monotone chick voice. I fucking hate it. It has different kinds of accents too. But it seems like that one is like the main one, like that Valley Girl one. Sometimes the guy one hits hard. The, a guy one might hit hard? Yeah. I might fuck with the guy one. I like it when guys hit hard. Sometimes it'll make an Xbox work when you're trying to film a YouTube video. The way he talks on his face is so funny. 
Here we go. Step one, ruin your skateboard before you skate. I probably should start doing that because it does trim up the edges pretty good. I always use grip tape and then rub it down. Don't Look at me. this fucking clown. <laughs> I'm the YouTuber, but he's the one who looks dumb because he's on TikTok. I'm clocked in, bro. Oh! <laughs> I love how this rock is definitely here for people to use it as a tripod. It was no, sitting next to the I wax. It. Let's go, let's go explore the park, uh, Mowgli. Let's play follow the leader. All right, if, when I mess up, you take over and I follow. Like, You're first. first. Yeah, you just won rock, paper, scissors. What? <laughs> Damn, Chris is fake. I had no speed. I don't want to hear your excuses. I want to see content. Early pop out. That wasn't a 5 0. Oh! Yeah, the kink in the rail is the best part. This really is his first time cruising around the park. It's almost like Mowgli is a professional skater. Mowgli, if you want to prove yourself as a real professional skater, you're going to skate through this kink rail anyways, dude. This, this is like side? the streets almost. This, <laughs> this is this the streets. Is like they this side to prepare. Is a kink. There's one problem with this side. That. Oh, yeah, yeah, it has these things that stick out. <laughs> it's actually fun as shit to try to nose slide through, though. So, did I mess up? No, you're still, no, going. You're still going. This line, we're, we're two minutes and 30 seconds into okay. content land. Keep moving. How many fish can I do? <laughs> Evidently, all of them. Mowgli's kind of murdering it. Well, that was a tail slide. I missed it, though. Oh! Uh, oh! We got a new leader. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> How did you fall? Stay. Playing follow the loser here. What happened? We went into this. Like, this weird well, like, have it's transition. Yeah, you should, you should have been used to be able to ride out of that. You're blowing it. Yeah, this is why he's not pro and Mowgli is. If that yeah. was Mowgli in there, he would have rode away. You don't own Skate 3, so you can't go pro. Absolutely, dude. What do you think about Skater XL? That game sucks. If you think Skater XL is hard, you should try skateboarding. Yeah, the gas thing. I no, skated from this side because I'm an adult. What? No, from this side. Like, it's crazy low. That's so what's scary low. about it. I would never skate this. That is so you won't 50 50 it right now. No, I won't. Follow See? The leader. You Follow the leader. You have to. You have to. Well, out. you're back in the lead. He fell. No, it's right. Oh, right. You're in the lead. Ah. Oh. Yeah, start off on a quarter pipe where everyone has to turn around. Yeah, fuck him up, Ray. Oh. Oh. Ray, did you do kickflip? Yeah. You're the best. I'm still following you. Oh. One of the things that I do really like about skateboarding is it lets adults play fucking follow the leader. Yeah, like, no. you can play any child's game with a skateboard. I just got inspired by skateboarding. Because adults are playing for their lives. Yeah. I just want to warm up. So. I watched the first 20 minutes of the first episode with Haley, and it looks pretty entertaining. It's so... It's good. I watched the whole show on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I'm not kidding. Literally, you scroll, the whole show's there. Oh, that's why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the ending. I know the winner of every game. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to hear any I of it. I can tell you all right now. No! Why are you? Why aren't you in this? My gold Am I? Okay, who's going to hold the phone? Oh, okay, he's holding the phone. I'm new leader. Yeah, you're in. Okay, you ready? Oh, yeah. Stoked. <laughs> front blunt barrel flip this thing. Yeah, I know. I actually just learned that trick the other day and thought of you. They work significantly easy. My dream trick is to do front blunt trick about down rail. That'd be cool. I was playing with front blunt inward heel. I stuck it down the band's nine rail. 
But you did a lot of stuff down that Vans 9 rail. You like that rail. I love that rail. Well, I grew up at that park. Yeah, so yeah. So I learned everything at that park. 50-50? Who is he? Chris Hyatt? <laughs> he comes back and mascara is like running down his face. He's like, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. He had that like in his pocket. You can tell by his body structure that at some point in time, he was definitely emo. Were you ever emo? Emo? Yeah. No. What? I was everything. I'm going to start a new trend. One tight leg and then one baggy leg. That would actually be kind of sick. I dare you. He won't. He'd only do it if it was like on TikTok. I like My what? Chemical Romance. You heard me. Do you like My Chemical Romance? Does that count? Look, like Chris is offended. <laughs> I think I used one for a TikTok too because I was like, oh, yeah, this is a hit. <laughs> You're like, this is. Hits. Hell yeah. Fucking pro, dude. This video is going to be called Mowgli Shouldn't Be Fucking Pro, and here's why. Yes, please. <laughs> this video is going to be called Braille Rhymes with Fail. Pro skaters release a part when they go pro. I failed to do that. So I just made a compilation video part of 2019 YouTube clips to 2021, <laughs> mid 2021. Yeah. And I dropped the seven minute part. So <laughs> I hope that like- That counts? That's Chef Mark Suchu. You know. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Mark Hell Suchu. No. Mark Suchu only put out a nine minute part and it was like mostly okay. hard tricks. Like get a job, dude. You know what it lacked, his part? Tastefulness. Where are you going? This video is called Mark Suchu Sucks. That's the first trick you try down this? That's kind of impressive. Look at this follow cam. <laughs> Fucking idiot. This is why Mowgli shouldn't be pro. Can't even fucking big spin the stairs, dude. Okay, that was a shot at me and you know it. Don't be front hurricaning in front of me, dude. Don't be dancing with my lady. Oh! He was trying to do back 180, but he came too close to the rail. No, I was trying to do a dime challenge. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that you know you know. Oh, you got it! Nice! Dude, keep going, dude. Shit, if it ain't switch. All jokes aside, dude, Ray's kind of good at skating. You're going straight for like real tricks. That's like a tricky trick. What's a real trick? Slappy crook, uh, half cab wheelie grind back to fakey, board slide yank over. Only those tricks. Everything else is just like whatever. I'll say this. The best YouTuber once said, what's real music? What doesn't real? make YouTube videos anymore. He, says he makes what's... music now. Like, Interesting. As an artist. Who's that? Filthy Frank. I thought you were going to say uh, Dale Decker. Pink guy? I'm, I, I know who Filthy Frank is via Dale referencing him all the time, but I honestly, I don't, I can't even picture a face. I never, but I do know that he makes music. Dale told me that. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty out of the loop with YouTubers. So if we could like reference and as as an example what like a real music artist is versus who he was and how he was doing things, he would always get comments like, "Why don't you make real music? Like you're really talented." Da da da. And he came out saying like, "What's the like? Why are you categorizing them? Music's music." Oh, so you're trying to say the tricks are tricks? Well, fun fact for you, buddy. Backside 270 lip slide is a loser trick. If you were a real adult, dude, you'd slappy crook and try to make a career out of it like I did. How do you slap crook? <laughs> you just don't ollie and, and hope you land it. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I would say that out of all the rail tricks, that is one of the scariest ones because you have to pre-commit because you can't see the entire time. Like you're completely blind the entire time on that trick. Well, you're the shining light to the blindness. This fucking guy works at Braille for two years. All of a sudden, he's trying to inspire me. We'll Most barrel flip guy. So dumb. All right, forward flip the three stair. <laughs> Embarrassing. If you didn't know, uh, 
uh, forward flip is just a varial flip for people who can't varial flip. You know what I always thought would be kind of interesting? If someone did a back three kick flip, but did it forward flip style. So, I mean, it, that's what people, when they, people say forward flip back 180s, I personally just think it's a, you know, steezed out backside flip. Or, a, or oh, yeah, 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 where they you spin really with think it. About when people go like this, forward flip, but if it's just a really boned out backside flip. See, I call that just a Zarepasat backside flip, because that's how he does them. Yeah, baby. Ooh, that's a really hard trick to push far. That's impressive. No, it's not hard. Well, he says it's not hard, but I mean, that's why Mowgli is not pro. Half cat flip. It's holding he's him back, doing, dude. He's doing easy tricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half cat flip out of all the basic flip tricks, I think is the hardest one to push far. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now we're talking. When you miss pop that trick, it feels so good. I was going for it. it was like, I know. Yeah, miss pop's the way to do it. Shout kick the hater. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big moves. Skate three. <laughs> Skate three. If you stay in there, dude. You're probably gonna land something today. I promise. Just keep, just keep fighting. You know what I mean? Okay. We got a good feeling about this. Let's go! I'm taking notes. How to be a pro. This is how you be. This is how you be a battle at the barracks uh, competitor. It's actually a little bit more controversial. That's how you win. That was actually kind of cool. Thanks. It was a hat. It was the hat. Does it have your last name on your hat? No. Yes. Range Oh wait, it is. I'm an idiot. Everyone thinks it's Corey. No, no, no it's Ray Corey's. Yes, yeah, Ray's core. I would like to point out he's going really fucking fast with that 270 lift. Like I'm pushing twice to keep up. Yeah. Hey Chris, I know I got some Gen Z subscribers. Can you come do something? Here, this is for, I don't know what you said, so I'm gonna do this. That's 100% right on par with what I said. I don't know what you said. Pro skaters do hard tricks, so what everybody doesn't know is like not all pros land everything first try. So video parts, you think it's first try because it's in a beautiful pieced art form, and this is the reality. Yeah, right? we're not actually going to even land the trick. We're just showing you what it's really like to be a pro, and that's and, not. And we were going to slow mo everything, and then Dan was going to be like, "Oh yeah, he had to leave." Yeah, I'm going to Baker 2G the shit out of this. Everything slow mo. Man, he cleared the shit out of that. You gonna keep going or what? What's going on? Okay, I gotta stop following him to this three stair because every time he gets to the three stair, he tries one of the worst tricks ever. He was riding away and then he wasn't. What the hell happened? How did you land that? Show them how to land something right. You're never gonna clear this set of stairs. Oh, I already know it's going down. No. <laughs> You're putting that all in, dude.
first try, boys. That was a very dippy back, Smith. That was basically our ollie over front feeble. Yeah, dippy's a word, dippy eggs. This is also me talking over him doing axle stalls to get over to here to keep you entertained until he does another trick that is relevant, which you will land right about now. I'm already oh. <laughs> That's kind of ice. Isn't that the best kind of ice? That is a good I feel ice. I like a lot of people will agree that it's a very good I like ice. the thin chips too, though, I which is pretty oh, rare. Good. Thin chips is I good, like, but that is good to chew on. To be honest, I like the big regular ice too, but oh, hold on. Original? Original flavored ice? But this is good. I really like it. Yeah, no, I'll take that ice over original any day. Okay, what trick do you think he's going to try? Uh, Let's see what side of the road. I think he's going to try back lit. No, front 5 0. Oh, you nailed it! <laughs> Uh-huh. So far, so good. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. You've seen this one before. Uh, I think, I'm thinking five. Oh! I hope you can hear that in the audio. You are good. Didn't call that fake e-grind 180, though. Nice, front, hey, Ray, front one barrel flip the straight out bar, first try. He has five dollars on it. That would have been more than he makes in his TikTok live. Oh! And Jin Woo go at it, who will front blunt barrel flip first? Does he got front blunt barrel flips too? He's the god of it. What about front front blunt double barrel flip? He's got that one. He, got that. he did tray flip front blunt tray flip out. That is a lot of stuff. Why'd you make me start? I didn't make you start. I suggested you start it. I <laughs> oh, board grind. Very exotic. Feeble something. Ooh, made a liar out of me. Yeah, do that. Little flip out session. Oh, that was so gross. This is why Mowgli's not a pro. Fuck it. Okay, that was really good. Hey, try a double barrel flip now. <laughs> if I pay you every day for a dollar, are you sponsored? Yeah. That's... Well, can you ride for me? Yeah, can you ride for him? Have you ever done no, probably. big flip, AKA barrel flip front blunt, barrel flip out? No, not that little kid. <laughs> okay, that little kid does do. Who is that kid? He has Jim a bump tomorrow. Oh, that's the kid. He's gonna be here, I think in two weeks. Really? I'll show him how to front blunt barrel flip. You showed him how? Yeah. Yeah, trick tip? They said I will show him how. Are you down to make a trick tip for my channel? Jeez. I'm kick with the fake is pretty tasteful. I've seen someone land on front blood kick with that Hollywood 16. Yeah, I've seen that first. Have you seen the footage of that where he I've pops out like part. 12 stairs down and then yeah. clears the last like yeah. four? Yeah. Like yeah. I like that one. Why don't you try front blunt barrel flip on Hollywood 16, you fucking coward? Can't argue with that. Nice, good job, Ray. Keep it going, Ray. Wow. Oh, I taught him that trick. You're welcome. Did you though? Yeah, well, I taught you it on rails. Grind? Uh, you working on a part? Yeah, whenever Spencer wants to text me back. Can I have Gus trick in there? Yeah, come on. All right, cool. Get his back, roll off the curb. Yeah. Dude, get his back, dude. Get a get a part. Get a clip on that rail because we said that was street. There's a hundred percent chance that we're gonna get a footage of a slam right now. I'm pretty excited about it. Oh no, you got to do that. 
<laughs> he ran back up the stairs like he just stuck something down like a relevant spot. Like, oh, dude, I got an extra try. I'm working here. That was great. <laughs> what do you mean, let's see? This is seriously why Mowgli can't be pro. Why? I just landed the hippie guy. That's why. It's fucked up, dude. You're really holding people back right now. Mowgli wants to be pro. He is pro, but he's not pro because of shit like this. He needs to be hornier. He says you need to be hornier. Hey, that's my word. <laughs> I tell everyone you're horny. Wait, you say you're horny? I tell everyone they're horny. <laughs> I like that, actually. What's he going to do? Switch. Nothing. It'll probably be fakey. Called it. You can't say Andy and then not do a trick. I did. You know what Andy Anderson's secret is? Like how he's so good. His favorite skater is Dan Corgan. Is he what? He is on shrooms all the time, isn't he? <laughs> Andy Anderson microdoses elbow pads. Who Andy Anderson is? Switch dumb. Nice. I'm not gonna. They're, they're playing a game of skate, and I'm using this as an opportunity to say go to Mugly's channel and watch Ray fucking lose so violently bad to this professional skater who's actually not a professional skater because Ray did a hippie jump. I'll link it in the bio. Can you imagine doing a switch flip like that and having a straight face? <laughs> oh, barrel heel, very tasteful. I'll do jitsu him up right now. Oh, forward flip. Yeah, Ray. Woo. Hit him with that forward flip, Ray. There it is. Oh. Yeah, did you? You were on my channel though. Like, dude, Mowgli's uh, an actual day one fan of Dale Decker. And only me too, which is like a given, you know. And it's probably having favorite YouTubers like that that's keeping him from being pro. Mm. Dale Decker's channel, seriously, uh, objectively, is the worst piece of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And Mowgli loves Dale. The first thing he said was like, damn, Dale's looking buff. I'm like, don't tell Dale that. It'll be fucking hard for the rest of the day. And fucking Mowgli was like, but he is hard. Fucking opinion. Oh, that wrapped. He adopts the same opinion that everyone has. That also wrapped. I will we'll literally get choke you out. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that now. Goes to jujitsu one time, threatens people. Uh, Nice. <laughs> you're over here fucking laughing at me, but you're sitting there with fucking... My boy Chris, we're over here talking. With fucking MRSA bladder, so fuck you, dude. Did you say MRSA bladder? MRSA bladder, yeah. Staff infection? That is right? true. They do have a staff infection. Fucking loser. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dude's got a staff infection. I might have one too. Really? I don't know what this shit is. It's been here like a fucking month though, I keep picking at it. Yeah, I thought jujitsu was supposed to be like a peaceful thing, right? Like Chris noticed right away, he was like, dude, jujitsu's got Dale Pump. Like he looks dangerous now. Like he just wants to fucking fight. Like, I don't even want to make eye contact with him. I'm scared, dude. <laughs>